We start the second half back at the county center. Bears up 22 to 12. I'm Eli Karp taking you through the final 16 minutes on the road to the championship game between the Bears and Valhalla. Bears has just mentioned a 10 point lead. Low scoring, uh, stagnant from both sides. Contento had a second, went off the glass and drew the foul. So Contento, who had a nice six-point performance, even though she missed a few shots in the first half, will go to the line to shoot two. Contento, the tenured senior, the only starting senior on this team. You can tell that the bench is energized, especially assistant coach Ellen Major trying to will the bench to will the starters at the moment. O'Donnell, active hands, tips it out of bounds. And it'll be Lockhart here. Lockhart to inbound now in the hands of Sikinski. Now into the paint, Maza can't get it to fall, and O'Donnell actually tipped it right back out into the hands of Sikinski. Lombardi, though, like a cat, came out of nowhere. She's got to be careful of Lockhart. They're moving on the break. Hamlin inside. Lombardi's able to corral it off the glass. A little too strong on the angle. And back and forth we go. Let's go to Churchill Downs. Fastest two minutes in sports. A little too fast for herself was Sierra Lockhart. So, cough, cough, a little turnover. And let's just forget that whole sequence ever happened. We're back to the Bears with possession. Hamlin around a couple way in. O'Donnell with no one around her. Bears now with a 14 point lead, 26 to 12. O'Donnell averaging just three points a game, but seems to be everywhere on the floor and the Bears need her making timely plays. A bit of an unsung hero, if you will. Inside Marillo as Plank went straight up. 16 on the shot clock for Valhalla. But she does have 4.6 rebounds a game, does O'Donnell. And this is a young Bears team, so with the amount of talent they have and the depth of the, of the core, they usually went about eight deep and everyone got some time. And only one is being graduated this, this year. So Jackie, the team will miss you, but they have plenty of talent going forward in the next couple of years. But definitely something to be wary of as the game moves on. Can they close it out? They've had trouble at times. Plank a three, no. Murillo just towering over Lombardi and O'Donnell. As now in the half court set, the Bears are gonna look to lock down. From the chase sign, this is Maza now in the corner. Murillo wanted it. She's being doubled, and that's why some players have been left open. Maza's going to drive baseline. Ops to reset. Threes available on both sides. Maza way off, and that's two straight full possessions down to the shot clock that the Bears have willed Valhalla into. Hamlin a three. No. And Bears have an extra 13 to, an extra 30, excuse me, to wind off and get another shot away. Hamlin opting, got, be careful not to move her pivot foot. This is Lombardi, who seems to make space when she needs off the glass. Won't fall, she went through a couple. That would have been impressive should it have dropped. This is Petretti, back, Sakinski's taken a lot today. Marillo able to get the offensive rebound off the glass. And if that's what the Bears are going to give up, and that's about it, I think they're going to be okay, because she is a nightmare. She's got to be threat number one. they got to stop Plank. The quick pass. Contento, a little too strong, and then O'Donnell tipped it out. 4.32 to go, nearly halfway through the third. It's been a quick 3.28 thus far. Bears up 26-14. 
They've outscored Valhalla 4-2 so far in this third of fourth periods. Lombardi, active hands. Going to stay with Valhalla, but more pressure applied. Good work. And on the floor for the Bears, the starting five. Hamlin, Lombardi, Plank, Contento, and O'Donnell. A little move from Sikinski, who's able to get her own rebound after a bit of some bear miscommunication. Inside, wide open three, Maza. Way off the mark, she has not had a shooter's touch tonight. Lombardi's going to try to move it quickly. And Plank, check that. Hamlin is able to steal it back from Lockhart. Possession will favor Valhalla. As Lockhart was a step quicker to the ball, but Hamlin never gave up on the play and earned the held ball. And a timeout taken by Valhalla, who, who want to talk things down by 12. 